What's up guys? I posted this infographic on my Instagram page, how remote work impacts your home search. Uh, we've all been experiencing a change in how we work and how we use our homes. So this infographic really summarizes how you, sh if you're looking for a new home, how you should take that into consideration. So you know, a lot of employers are delaying the return to work because of what's going on in the uh, pandemic. So that opens up you know, a lot of options for you to think about where you want to live compared to where you want to work. So traditionally, it has been that, you know, you work close to where you where you live, right? And so that really uh, limits, uh, you know, places where you can live depending on how much you make at work. But now that you can, some employers are allowing you to work remotely, and it sounds like some will continue to do so even when this is all over, uh, you can look for a place that is further away from where you work, but it has, it's, um, you know, you get more house for the money that you'll spend commute or not have to commute, but living further away than from where you work. So a potential change in scenery, 19% uh, percent of sellers say they're moving because they're not tied to an office. So you're not, you don't have to you know, live even in the same state as where you're working. If you like the country, if you like living away from a lot of people, you can take that into consideration when looking for a home. Uh, if your employer allows you to work uh, remotely. So you don't, you're not tied to, you know, I, my work in the city, so I have to get an apartment in the city. Chance to prioritize your home office, right? So if you are gonna work from home, uh, you might wanna take into consideration having a space where you are going to work, you know, the setup. You know, I have my setup here where I'm filming, where I have my, my lights and my laptop, and, and I have my, you know, I got a new, um, a tablet holder because you know that's that's important to free up space but you know I have an office and you may have to consider that 69% of buyers are prioritizing home offices in their search right they they have the ability to say I need you know this stuff right not I'm going to move into a house because that's all I can afford and I'm going to make do with what I have and you know be in a corner uh, working and filming my my zoom calls 48% uh, of buyers crave multiple office uh, offices or space for virtual meeting, right? If you and your spouse work, you may not be able to work at the same workstation. And because you're able to work remotely and, and choose some place that may be more affordable, considering your uh, home uh, work space um, is important so that you can be comfortable and you know, not get in each other's way when you're, when you're working. Uh, opportunity to secure lower cost of living. So this is a quote from uh, Labor Market Institute, Gad Livanon, the uh, PhD, households will continue to migrate to areas further away from city centers as they become more certain about the permanency of remote work options. If you can find an affordable place that gets you more house for your buck, that is larger, that is in a, a place where you want to live, that is, you know, not something that you would have prior to this have even thought about living. Right, right now you have the opportunity because of what's going on and being able, because of technology, uh, you're not able to take more places into consideration and have your list of things, amenities that you want to include, uh, you know, things that you really want and uh, being able to work from home, right? Roll out of bed, hop on the computer, um, you know, lunch, you just go downstairs to your kitchen, you have lunch, break time, you get to go in your backyard and, and have your break. Uh, and when you're off the clock, there's no commute. So take all this, everything into consideration now, not only, you know, kitchen and, re you know, restrooms and bedrooms, but workspace and location uh, can now be higher up on your list of uh, options uh, when you're looking for a home. So my name is Andres. This is a Ventura County real estate show. I'm a real estate agent here in Ventura County. Uh, if you're outside of Ventura County, I have a, a sign up form on my website so I can refer you to a network of agents that I have access to. Uh, please like and subscribe and share so I know you like this content. Thanks a lot, and I'll talk to you guys next time.